we are. Um, I'm here with uh, the, uh, Cesar Castro, and um, I'm going to try to say it, uh, Caracello. Okay. Yeah, and, my uh, internet he, name. Yeah. And uh, um, anyhow, uh, this is the uh, subject here is the music that's um, unique to Veracruz, Mexico. And um, specifically, we're going to talk about the instrument that uh, is used in, in um, the type of music called son corocho. So, um, Cesar, if you would just introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, first of all, um, yourself and uh, how you, um, and let's just talk about what, what, what it is. What is music of Veracruz, Mexico? <clears throat> okay. Um... Once again, my name is Cesar Castro. I'm from Veracruz, Mexico, which is in the Gulf of Mexico. So I grew up in front of the ocean, hot, humid place. And that's the place where this music was created after, after the colonization, after the presence of, of slaves from Africa. And also I need to, to make uh, sure that we understand from colonizers the Spaniards that came after five, six hundred years of being colonized by the Arabs. So we have a big influence from the north of Africa, from the west Africa, and then the, the base, the foundation, and the indigenous people in that region of Mexico. So I play Son Jarocho, that's how we call it today, Son Jarocho, and it's mainly played by this little guitar called Harana. Well, that's a good uh, good segue into my next question because uh, the focus of the um, this uh, interview is the actual instrument, the harana. Mm. So, uh, can you tell me a little bit about what is unique about the harana is with respect to son Morocho? Well, the, the uniqueness of mm -hmm. this instrument is is that we know it as such there in Veracruz, but it has its origin in, in the Baroque guitar. So we can go back to the uh, 1600s, 1700s, 1800s, where all these type of guitars, as, as you can tell what you see on the screen and what I have here, they're similar. So we don't call it Baroque Mexican guitar or anything like that. It's just Harana. And the name has uh, an origin apparently in, uh, in the Arab, Arabic word Haram, which means sin. Harana, the word is, is there, you'll find it in different uses, but to us is this beautiful instrument that's powerful and we strum all night long <laughs> to celebrate. Wow, what a beautiful uh, instrument that is indeed, and uh, what a gorgeous sound that comes out of that thing. Um, can you tell me, uh, a lot of people are familiar with the regular uh, guitar, you know, the six string guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, we both, we have a Spanish or classical guitar with nylon strings. And we also have, say, the uh, Western guitar with steel strings. Um, how does the Hirana, what kind of strings does it use? Like maybe how many strings and how would you say fundamentally it's different from the regular guitar? Where here you can see the regular guitar has six strings and they go from top to bottom from a low E to a high E. And in our case, we have five courses. We call them courses, just like the Baroque guitar. And we count from bottom to top. The first course, second course, third course, fourth and fifth. But the first and fifth, traditionally you'll find a single string and then and the ones in the middle, double strings that you can have in unison or octave. Meaning one is high, the other is low. And I, and I have unison in the center. So that's my choice. And, and our music goals is pretty basic. So we go from first to fifth and fourth. And you play with that formula a lot and you play different songs. It kind of sounds like a ukulele in a way, almost like a Caribbean sound. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right? <laughs> yes. Well, this, when I say Caribbean, it's because culturally we are very Caribbean and identify ourselves more with Caribbean people 
than and Central America than from the west side of Mexico or north North Mexico. And we were hanging up with the loud crowd, <laughs> which are the Caribbeans. Like, oh, man, I can't, oh, you can't be uh, hugging. And, uh. <laughs> that, that's pretty much us, <laughs> okay. in essence. It's and, a, lot, a lot of fun. And I, 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 yes, and I guess the instrument couldn't be different. Something that has to, an instrument is, is that. It's the tool you use to express. You know? So don't let the instrument shape you. You shape the instrument to who you are. So we are happy, loud. We can be also nice and soft. <laughs> so Beautiful. this is a, a good a good match for for our culture. That's great uh, explanation there. I um, you know music and culture is used for uh, celebratory, for ceremonial, uh, for religious, and just for just fun, uh, and all kinds of things. And it's very. Um, connected to a particular culture. Is there a particular type of um, uh, celebratory celebration music that um, in, in uh, say, Son Jorocho? That's actually the main activity, the social cultural activity in, in this uh, genre is getting together. So it happens with Son Jorocho as well, so, but we call them fandangos when, when the real uh, time to celebrate together comes we call fandangos and they happen for all kinds of, of reasons for a birthday for a wedding for a funeral for anything just the the winter is about to start then let's have a fandango for winter and of course religion religion hit hard in our culture uh, due to the colonization the catholic religion and we have for every saint saint we have a, a fandango pretty much in Veracruz. Somewhere in Veracruz might have, have might have a fandango, or just because it's Friday or Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's fun. That's uh, that's one thing I very much uh, admire about uh, you know the Latin American culture is the communal uh, <laughs> nature and the fun and uh, you know just the the celebration of life and family and it you know I couldn't imagine it coming through more um, just expressively than through Son Jorocho. Um, I had seen something, um, it looked like uh, a platform, a wooden platform mm -hmm. upon which um, people would, would dance. Uh, can you uh, highlight that a little bit, what, that, what they do? Yes, so Fandango to us is what Tablao is for Spaniards. And, and that one we do very similar also with Irish and other cultures, right? But uh, we have a wooden platform where people uh, get up on top of to dance and dancing by doing the percussion with their feet. <clears throat> this, is, this is a fandango. You see the, 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 the musicians are on top of another tarima <laughs> because they're having mics and everything, but you, you, can, you can see the dancers, how they're fa facing each other and they are also dancing on top of a wooden platform. Now we have uh, <laughs> this urban type of uh, way to, to, prom to promote, to cultivate the, the music and the, and the, 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 the celebration of Son Jarocho with Fandango. So that's it, it's a gathering. It's like your dance floor, but we have a specific way to organize it. Okay, so there's a, um, I would say that there's a lot of, um, uh, sort of style and the way that they stomp their feet in per in a percussive way to accompany or complement the, uh, the the backbeat to the music. Yes, and sometimes the heartbeat of the music. Very Just nice. Just like all other, because we don't have drums. That's those are our drums. So we don't have uh, tambor, conga, nothing, yembe, nothing like that. And that's a part of the history in Veracruz that's very interesting, still intriguing but we have the tarima to do that for us. So there's a song, a type of song music that is in six eights, which is also, which is also a very African uh, influence. And dancers go. Way over to my final question. And that is, um, is there uh, uh, only one type of harana or are there, are there multiple types? Oh, that's a good one. No, we have multiple ty types, and this is 
one of the toward the big <laughs> the big side then they get start getting smaller to harana segunda harana primera harana mosquito and then you have some chaquistas no? which are really high pitched uh, uh, guitars for example i have a harana segunda and a primera just as a comparison uh, can you just play a c major and then i'll play a c major on my guitar All right, we're going to come to the fun part of the interview, and this is where uh, Senor Castro is going to tocar la jarana, and that's my attempt at Spanish. Uh, so... Great job. I understood everything. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, uh, Senor Castro, um, uh, tell me about the song you're going to play and, and, and uh, uh, what it's about, and, and go ahead and take it from there. Well, in Sones Jarochos, we sing uh, with a theme, and then the theme allows you to tell little stories in each verse so it's not a sequence like corrido or a regular song where it's a poem very well structured and this one if i sing one verse and you sing another one they might be from different uh feelings or or thoughts so this one is called el collage <laughs> California se ha vuelto popular Colas, colas, colas y ni colas Lo mucho que te quiero y el pago que me das Colas, colas, colas y ni colas Te pido que te acerques y te retiras más Si vas para Tijuana y cruzas la frontera Ya en la mera línea y flota fandanguera para Tijuana y cruzas la frontera Allá en la mera línea y flota fandanguera Hay colas, colas, colas y ni colas Lo mucho que te 